Tijuana with Tea Quilts, and I'm coming today to do a review on the Singer 4432 Heavy Duty Sewing Machine. I recently purchased this from HSN online. I got uh, it as a discount because I was a new member to HSN, and I've been sewing heavy duty seams on my regular home sewing machines. And I noticed that I've knocked two of my sewing machine tensions out of whack where the dealers are having difficulty getting those tensions set back correctly. So I decided I needed a different machine to sew heavy duty fabrics when I'm making like uh, working with denim. Also when I'm making handles on tote bags and things like that. I um, also have an old Kenmore, but I let my daughter use it, so I didn't have anything actually in my home that I could sew those type of items on. So I decided to go for this Singer Heavy Duty Sewing Machine. But I received the machine. It comes packaged with this plastic cover. Um, and then also you have the Singer Sewing Reference Manual. And then you have instructions for how to use the included ruffler that has a quick start guide. Just telling you the basics in order to get you up and running. And it also has uh, a sheet for if you need any service and it goes by actual state. So I will go over the accessories that came with the machine. Of course, I have the presser foot that comes with the machine. And then in addition to that, you have four bobbins total. I have one bobbin inside of the clear housing bobbin cover. So you can see when your bobbin runs out. I really like that on the old machine and the fact that it's top loading. Um, so I got a total of four bobbins. And I'm going to put that into the accessory case holder. So that's a total of four bobbins. Singer sewing machine needle size 14. I have three in the pack and then one came in the machine. I also have a little screwdriver. Have included was also a little brush and then the other end has a um, seam ripper. I have an extra spool pin with a thread cap. I have a guide to use when I'm machine quilting. Has a button sewing foot. A button hole making foot. It has a general purpose foot which is on the machine. And in addition to that I have a plastic open toe foot which is used for decorative stitching. Have a zipper sewing foot. Have an edge sewing foot with a little metal bar to guide you. And it also has the rolled hem foot. In addition to that, it also comes with the ruffler foot. And then up on the top also, it comes with a larger size thread spool cap. Okay. Have a dial for tension, one for needle position, one for width when you're zigzagging, has a dial for your um, your length of your stitch and then this is your selection guide for your stitches also has a reverse sewing button has a thread cutting guide here and you lower the presser foot here it does have a, a manual needle threader. So you put your, you know, you put the thread through there and then when you have to actually pull it back, it doesn't do it on its own. And then it has a bar here that comes down when you want to make a button. 
a holes a buttonhole sorry about that okay so that's what came with my singer sewing machine when I first started sewing on the machine I actually sewed onto this scrap of denim here I uh, folded it over itself a few times and I did get one giant um, skip stitch here but all the other stitches I was stitching through about 12 layers of denim and as you can see the stitches are pretty good for me so this was the only test thing that I actually did from there I just went straight into a project so the first project that I made was a denim tote bag and I didn't have a pattern I just went and got some jeans from in my storage and I figured that the denim would be a good test of this machine so I also used home deck on the inside of the fabric so I have got heavy-duty fabrics on inside and outside but I do not have any batting inside the bag the main reason for doing a tote bag was because of handles when I'm doing tote bags this is the main concern when I'm working on my regular home sewing machines so I have sewed through eight layers of denim here and I didn't have any problems with that and then this is how it looks on the inside um, but the stitches look pretty good there are no skip stitches and I'm sewing through like I said eight layers two layers of which are home deck fabric the other six are denim then in addition to that uh, I, because people said that they worked on the machine for a while and then they pulled it back out and it didn't work after that I decided to make something else about a couple weeks later and so this is oops I'm sorry okay so I decided to work on this a couple weeks later and this is actually a little bag that I made to hold my wedge rulers and this time the handle is just sewn in thirds and then I used a zigzag stitch just to see how it would stitch out to close the three layers back if you can see it on this side better it also has home deck fabric on the inside and just in case you're wondering I uh, did not have a pattern for this I just laid my largest wedge ruler onto the back side of the denim I traced the wedge ruler and then I added one inch all the way around as I cut it out and I just put the handle on the back side of the bag so that when it's hanging I don't have to take the bag off to pull any rulers out so again this is how the inside of the bag looks sorry I got stuff in here I didn't think to pull it out but um so I've sewn two projects with this bag and I say that the machine is doing pretty well I have not had it for an extended period of time so I can't give you the total rundown on that However, I am very satisfied with the Singer 4432 sewing machine and what it's done for me. And I think that it would be a, a savings on my other machines, which I said before, I've knocked out of tension. And so I'm still trying to work to get those put back into uh, proper alignment. I have additional sewing machines and I've been asked a lot when I do lectures and workshops, which what type of sewing machine do you use I have quite a few sewing machines and it's not that any one machine can't do anything better it's just that I generally have machines set up to do a particular type of stitch and that's what I do with it so on my next video I will come back with a video so on my next video So I'm very satisfied with my Singer 4432. 
However, I do have additional sewing machines, and I've been asked a lot when I give workshops and lectures, what type of sewing machines do I use? And although I feel you can do anything that I do with any sewing machine, I will come back and give you, uh, just to show you which machines I have. I won't do like a, a how they operate or anything like that, but I will show you what sewing machines I have, and then... I'll show you or I'll tell you what it is that I do with those and why I like it for that. So thank you for watching and bye-bye for now.